My name is Maxim Protechinsky and I'm heading digital department of UGIT. And UGIT in turn is a Luxembourgish-based startup company which is into producing and selling electric scooters all over the world. UGIT is a smart electric scooter. It has like 30 sensors inside, a lot of clever electronics, and what we needed, we needed to connect it to the cloud somehow in order to receive and send all the necessary information which we need for like companion app function, GPS, navigation, whatever, whatever. And another problem is we needed it to work from any point of the world because we're selling worldwide. So that is why uh, we came to post for a machine-to-machine -machine internet solution like IoT solution and that's what we got. It wasn't really easy for us to select a partner for this machine-to-machine -machine solution. Basically, we have like several pretty contradictory things, you know. So from one hand, we're a startup. So we need a dynamic partner which uh, will hear us, you know, which we will be able to call to at any given moment, uh, which uh, give a quick feedback. From the other side, we're doing vehicles which function for many years and that is why the partner should be reliable, well-known, and it should disappear like in two or three years. And the third point is, like with both of that in mind, the price should be competitive as well. So that wasn't easy. And we researched about maybe 50 to 60 companies all over the world before we stopped at Post, which was like the ideal company, speaking of that three, like small enough to be quick and dynamic, mature enough to offer that maturity for us, and uh, Post was able to uh, suggest competitive pricing for us. We were looking, again, for a company which is able to provide roaming in as many countries as possible, and roaming we should be as good as possible, because our clients, like Eugene, is very lightweight, so they're able to take it with them, like on their like vehicle or yak to whatever country, basically. So uh, we couldn't limit that to uh, like to any one region. And speaking of that, the coverage of post is really good, according to what we see. We now have scooters in many countries worldwide and almost don't have any problems with whatever location there are. Our target was to provide uninterrupted mobile connection between the scooter as a vehicle uh, with a driver on it and our cloud system, which collects and analyzes the driving information from one side and from another side, it allows the final user of the scooter to use a companion app in order to give the scooter some like necessary commands. Like for example, one of the cool features is you can lock and unlock the scooter without the physical key just through your phone and then the phone sends a signal to the cloud and the cloud sends a signal to the scooter through post SIM card. Another one would be like a sharing mechanism, which is you can do the same for the person you haven't even met. So from an application you select his or her phone number. Again, like your phone, our application sends a signal to our cloud. Our cloud suggests another guy to install the application. And at the same time, it teaches scooter through the post SIM card that this phone with this new application, this guy can open it as well. So you can basically share it like across the continents if you're out of country or whatever. If we will talk about the after sales department here, so what it allows us to do, we know for sure, we don't collect the personal data about the users, we collect a lot of data about the scooter itself, like how it drives, are there any errors in the CAN bus system, what could be potentially dangerous, will it need some like service or after sales, can it be driven at this given moment or not, and we can control it via M2M technology directly. So we even can, if it's needed, if the user will give his permission through the interface, our technician could connect directly to the scooter at any given moment and see what is happening inside the electronics, which is pretty much unmatched, I would say. We basically have a full IoT solution in order to manage the SIM cards from post, and that's again a good thing for us. So we don't actually require a lot of face-to-face -face collaboration in terms of deployment. So we receive the solution, it just works, you know, <laughs> and that is the best you can actually <laughs> 
find the round, yeah? Uh, so, of course, we have some, uh, sometimes we have something to be like edit or uh, rare configured for us, but then it is pretty easy for us to contact our manager directly, so we don't have any problems. But 99% of the work goes inside the system, which is already provided, so we're good to go. Okay, to summarize, we're just receiving the uh, SIM cards which are pre-configured for us, we're putting it into the scooter and we're good to go. As far as it follows from our experience of working with POST, we're pretty sure that technology which POST provides to us will give us the opportunity to go further with our mobility products.